The first step after we've prepped our nail is to size the tip that we're going to be using for our, our service. So the first tip I'm going to take is a, a French cut tip. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to place one side of the tip into the side wall of the nail and then you're going to stretch it across and make sure that it fits side wall to side wall. As you can see on this tip, it does not cover the natural nail entirely, so this tip would be too small to use. So I'm going to go back, go up to the next larger size, and I, once again, I'm gonna go side wall to side wall. Once I see that the tip completely covers the natural nail, then I've chosen the proper size. In the event that this one would be too small and I went to the next, it's better to oversize than to undersize your tip. After I've selected the tip I'm going to be using, I'm going to take our Artisan Professional Nail Adhesive and I'm going to put a small dot of it onto the center of the nail and then taking your tip, you're going to use the tip and spread that adhesive, placing it down onto the nail and holding it for just a few seconds. This is pretty much an instant bond adhesive and then I like to come in with the sides of my fingers or if you prefer to use a tong of some sort, you can come in making sure that the smile line has solid contact from sidewall to sidewall. After the adhesive has cured and you've gone down and you've put on all 10 nails, you're going to come back with your cutters and you're going to remove the excess length. Determine with the client the length that's appropriate for them. Then you're going to come in with your clippers and go halfway on one side and halfway on the other side. Give the tip a quick twist and you're ready to go. Now I'm going to take a 180 grit file and I'm going to just bring in my sides. I want to make sure that the sidewall is completely smooth with your natural nail. So I'm going to blend it up and then I'm going to come in on the other side, line it up on the side blend that sidewall to their natural nail, and then I'm going to come in and shape my free edge. You want your free edge to be in the, the, uh, the shape that your client desires before you apply your flex so that you're not having to do any major filing on that free edge after the flex wrap has been put in place. Once that has been done, we're going to remove any excess dust and filings. If there's any fringe that's been left from your filing, make sure you clean and remove that. And now we're ready to apply our flex, flex wrap.